Hello mythology lovers, welcome back to world of mythology. Today's video is about the fall of Phathon. Phathon was the child of Helios, the sun god. One could see the glint of the sun's rays, in his bright yellow hair, and feel its warmth in the flash of his eyes. He was so full of life and energy, that it was a pleasure to watch him. When he was playing with the other boys in the village, if they threw stones, it was Phathon who could throw the farthest, if they ran races, Phathon always reached the goal first, and it was the same in all their other sports. Although these boys could not beat Phathon in their games, they could say rude things to him, and one day, because they wished to get the better of him in some way, they all met him with a chorus of taunts and sneering words. Among other things, they said that he was not the child of Helios, and this hurt Phathon very much, for he had always thought it a glorious thing, to feel that the god of the great shining sun was his father. The next morning, as he lay under a tree, gazing steadfastly at the sun, he thought he could see the sun god, Helios, driving his golden chariot across the sky. What a fine thing it would be, he said to himself, if I, boy as I am, could drive that splendid chariot. Then the boys would believe that, I am really the child of the sun god. The thought had no sooner entered his head, than he set out to go to the country where the sun rises. It was a long journey, but at last he saw the golden palace of the sun god. And then, as he came nearer, he saw Helios himself, sitting on a throne. Phathon stood back and told Helios, who he was, and what the boys had said. Then he asked if there were not some way by which, his playmates could be made to believe that, he was really the child of the sun. Helios promised to grant any wish that the boys should make. This was a great favor, and Phathon would not have received it, if he had not been a true child of the sun. Phathon clapped his hands in triumph, for he thought that now he might have his wish. The hours were already bringing out the golden chariot of the sun, and it seemed almost as bright as the crown of Helios. Phathon asked instantly, if he might not drive this chariot for one day. Helios was troubled at hearing such a wish as this, but he had promised, and the gods could not break their promises, accordingly, when the hours brought out the horses, and made everything ready, he was obliged to let Phathon take the reins. The horses of the sun were powerful animals, as fiery in their temper as any creature that ever lived, even in those days of fire-breathing bulls and dragons. They seemed to be made of fire inside. But Phathon, remembering that he was a child of the sun, gladly took his place in the chariot. The four horses started off at a gallop, and Phathon was so light, that the chariot was tossed back and forth as if it had been empty. The horses were frightened at once. They left the right path round the world, and began to run wildly, swerving first one way and then another. Phathon saw now, when it was too late, that he was too young to drive such horses. They grew more and more excited, and sparks of fire began to fly from their nostrils. The chariot, too, as it was carried faster and faster through space, began to grow brighter and hotter. As the horses and chariot came close to the earth, mountaintops took fire and began to smoke. They came closer yet, rivers dried up, and many, many miles of forest land and green meadows were scorched, and became like a desert. In some countries, too, the heat was so great that the people of those countries were turned to a dark color. It looked as if the whole world might be burned up. By this time Phathon was terrified, indeed, for his own hair was on fire. But he did not know what to do. Jupiter, looking down from Mount Olympus, saw that the world was in great danger. Then suddenly came a terrible clap of thunder, and Phathon fell from the chariot, down, straight down, like a falling star, into the broad river Eridanus. And so poor Phathon, though a true child of the sun, failed in trying to drive his father's fiery chariot. Perhaps, he would never have attempted such a daring deed, had it not been for the unkind taunts of his playfellows. There are some things which even the children of the sun cannot do. His sisters, the Heliades, wept for him on the banks of the Eridanus, till at last they were changed into large trees, and their tears, continuing to fall into the water, from the branches of the trees, became drops of clear amber. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment down below. Let's meet again in the future videos.